Immanuel Ankuma Inchi says, Paul, I really like James Agaga for his intellectual argument on security issues, but can you ask him why he was so fixated about the Ghana-US military deal and even end the accolade, unimpeded access man? Because he was using that phrase, unimpeded access, on every platform when the Ghana-US military deal surfaced. Paul, please ask him before he leaves the studio. I have to, I have to oblige. I have to oblige my guest. I have to oblige my guest. So, uh, my, my, my listeners on social media with a good question. Thank you, Matilda. Why were oh, unimpeded access, man? Oh, yes, Paul, 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 I mean, the point was that that agreement gave the United States mm -hmm. military, mm -hmm. and let me use the phrase once again, mm -hmm. unimpeded access yeah. to certain military installations in this country. Mm -hmm. And I thought as a member of the Defense and Interior Committee that that kind of access, first of all, compromised our sovereignty mm -hmm. as a country. Within the committee of nations, mm -hmm. you're giving another country's military unimpeded access to your military installations. I thought that that was uh, improper. Mm -hmm. uh, but that is history. The courts have ruled on um, mm. uh, uh, the uh, validity or otherwise of the agreement and said that uh, we didn't do anything. And so we abide the decision of, of the court. But I, 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 I clearly uh, took that position in our national interest because I think that as a country, we should be able to build our own security apparatus up to the level where we're able to provide for our own national security. Mm -hmm. So I thought that we can have the United States at our, as our partners. But to have that kind of cooperation where they have affected access here and there, I thought that that was, um, they were asking for too much. I get it. Okay. <laughs>